they're playing. Forcing turnovers and turning that into offense. Martin is out there with Thomas Bryant. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's Hawkeyes in at the small forward position. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Here's the three. Reeves with the rebound. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. And it's Bryant with the rebound. The Heat trail by four. Here's Hockey. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Hockey has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Reeves. He has six. Los Angeles with another miss. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. That puts them in the lead. Butler's got his second bucket of the game to go. Excellent job getting that strong position inside. Butler doing work really nice. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. And you know how to get there. Playing basketball at this level, just be playing basketball, Jimmy is not my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. Reeves can't hit. Or just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And it's good for two. Butler's got the lead up to five now for the Heat. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Wood kicks to LeBron. LeBron is screen on Buck. Driving the lane. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And there's a foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. First. That's foul number two for him. Both teams deciding to change it up. Lakers trail by three. Here's Reeves. He's got eight. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant's got four rebounds in this game. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. And so it's Prince with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. Robinson finds Lowry. The kick outside to Butler. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Butler's got nine points. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Let's keep feeding. Let him eat. James, the pass to Wood, to the middle. Kicks it out to Prince. Wood with the screen for Prince. From the arc, good on the triple. He's got six. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. And he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Drop Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. Some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. And it's Reddish in for James. Rob. Okay, Heat fans, show some love for your Heat answer. Now, here's Lowry. Nine-point game, his last outing. That's at five. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Reeves. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look a gift horse in the mouth. A minute 42 left to play in the first half. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Here's Highsmith. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That is his first foul of the game. 
I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Stolen by Prince. And, and we've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Both those turnovers could have been avoided. And, and a chance here to look at the numbers for Russell. He's putting up about 17 points, six assists, and three rebounds. And really, he sets the table for this team with his playmaking. Unselfish at times to a fault. He just makes everybody around him better. And oh, here we go. Prince has got it. The fast break chance. Lowry with the ball. And it's Reddish picking him up. Here's Hockey. Lowry finds Robinson. And stolen by Russell. Here we go, all alone. Here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Reeves has got 13. The 6'9 wingspan of Russell. Reaches, picks it clean, then there he goes off to the race. Los Angeles foul. The Heat the shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. That's been one of the strongest aspects of this team this season. I mean, there have been very few off nights for them at the free throw line. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Reddish, rebound by the Heat, coming off that loss against the Nets. Total embarrassment. I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything going against you. Very frustrating. Again, in the case of a player fouled in the act of shooting a three pointer, uh, my. PA announcement for the administration. Of the he hits the second from the line. Uh, the player was fouled in the act of shooting a three-pointer, and he will have three free throws. And he nails the third. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Prince outside puts up a deep three. An absolute pound from three-point range. Prince has got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Lowry outside for Robinson. And stolen by Russell. Pick off in midair. Highsmith the pass to Robinson. And the dunk by Robinson. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? It's the Heat up by two. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. When I look at Miami, they've had a great start to the season as we thought they might. They play together, they play for one another, they will. Now turning our focus to the Miami Heat, this game has been a nail-biter. How about that ball movement? So often we see guys dribble, 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 and make themselves easy to defend. Not this team, not in the first half. Passing up good shots for great shots. That's what we're talking about right now. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Special K, in your playing days, you were such a strong defender. Who was the toughest player you had to guard? Hey, I appreciate the love, partner, but strong defender attached to my name back in the day would not mix well, if we're talking truth. But I will tell you, the hardest guy I had to deal with was Bernard King. He gave me fits. He was relentless in his pursuit of the pumpkin. They ran a bunch of stuff for him when he was playing for the Knicks, and that dude 
to put it in the back. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Russell is out there with Cameron Reddish. First and it's Prince five. in at the three spot. It's his first trip to the line. Now the line, Hayward Heisman. Good on both. Here's James, and with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room, the coaching staff, the ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. Well, I like the fact that Prince um, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Um, kind of lets the game come to him naturally. Lowry passes to Robinson. In corner, Butler scored the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Just an example of a different mindset between these teams. A heat leading by five. Highsmith, the pass to Autobahn. Misses from close range. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And, you know, LeBron plays a very mistake-free game, usually in the open court. And when he's out on the break, the points are almost a guarantee. And one thing you respect about Russell is his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. And here's Prince outside. It's hauled in by the Heat. Out of has got four rebounds now tonight. Butler on the way. Guarded by Reddish. Here's Lowry, the kick outside to Butler. Two minutes into the second half of play now, and he can't jam it through. Here's LeBron, and he can't bank that one in. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Robinson on the wing. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Fourth personal foul. Great fake by Adebayo. Such a high IQ play. Now the Heat have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. Austin Reeves is checked in for Anthony Davis. Lakers trail by four. It's stolen by Adebayo. For three. Reddish grabs the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Here's Reeves. And again, the Lakers no good. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. And he gets the bucket. Well, he's got the lead up to six now for the Heat. And just so crafty around the hoop. Lowry probably six feet at best, but and he can slip inside and score with the best of them. They get it back. Pass to Reeves. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. This one for three. A three-pointer is flight on target. Reeves has got 16. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Adebayo kicks to Robinson. Outside Butler. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the middle. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. And Miami making a change here. Richardson's checked in. Wood, he's checked in for the Lakers. Substitution on the court. How about your heat? Wait, your dance crew. Let's get to another big game. Adebayo passes to Highsmith. A three off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Here's Reeves. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. 
in the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Lowry, good. He's got 12. And we've seen this before. Once Lowry gets cooking, he's an absolute load who cannot be stopped. To the left side wing. Here's Reeves, who's got 19 for the lead. Rebound by the Heat. Autobio's got seven rebounds in the game. Lowry passes to Highsmith. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his fifth assist in this one. And there's a minute 45 left here in the third quarter. Here's Reeves. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Three points. Reeves has got 22 points. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Here's Lowry. Rebounded by the Lakers. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one. Missed it and has no one to blame but himself. Would a screen on Richardson. Reeves. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. In the corner, it's Richardson. Going inside. It's hauled in by Wood. Foul. Bam out of Ayo. First person. And foul. some stats here, guys. The scoring foul. breakdown for Miami. And they're playing beautiful basketball <laughs> right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. Yeah, you know, the defense just hasn't been able to keep up with them in this one. The transition game as a result of good defense has been very strong. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura, he's checked in for Prince. Christie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Here's the pass to Autobio. Makes it off the glass. Autobio has got seven. But, and not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. James a screen on Smith here's Reeves and again the Lakers no good certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end and it had a ripple effect on the team Richardson no luck and here's James he'll bring it up for Los Angeles they trail by three after this one they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers that puts them squarely in the middle of this five game road trip Here's Adebayo. He's guarded closer. Martin wide open. He fires. And again, Miami with the triple. And what a dime from Bam. He's really skilled at looking for and finding his team. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. He lead by three. He'll be back shortly live from Miami Arena. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along. Once we get the rebound, get to. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure packed basketball. Miami leading by three. We've got Josh Richardson. Ryan is out there with Caleb Martin. And there's Jimmy Buck. And it's Hawkins in at the three spot. It's the group on the floor for Miami. The well put together Butler proving that he's just a little too strong there. Not allowing the physical defense to stifle him at all. Over to the left wing. Here's Reeves. Here's LeBron. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. A signature bucket for him on that possession. They can get Shoot themselves in front quickly with a few more like that. Jackson A's. He's checked in for Christie. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And A's kicks to LeBron. Pass to Wood. This is to Hayes. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at five. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got six rebounds here tonight. Martin the pass to Bryant. Here's Butler. Got a hand on it. 
here's Reeves. Los Angeles with another miss. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. And Butler gets it to go. Not an easy shot that time from Butler fighting through that contact, but his strength worked for him. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Lakers trail by five. Contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Wednesday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Detroit. They'll take on the Pistons. And that game against Houston, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Jimmy Butler showing us some nice moves and strong handles, too. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Reeves from outside off the mark. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're going to do this, especially in the second half, you better make it. And stolen by James. And Hatchimer with a clear path to the rack. Reeves gets the bucket. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Miami leading by five. Butler feeling out of it. Kicks to Bryant. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Bryant's got his first basket. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous step, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And the Heat call time here. Call for the Heat. Get loud, fan. On the court is your high squad. Some, some changes here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Christian Wood. Franz comes in for Hachimura. And it's Reddish in for Austin Reed. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Eric Spolster had some words for his team. Now, he heaped praise on the defense. He said, the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, David. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Butler kicks to Adebayo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists in the game. From no Butler. hesitation from Adebayo there. I had to love seeing him taking this shot with confidence. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. The first free throw is good. At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. That one is no good. Miami leading by eight. Outside Butler. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Stolen by Robinson. Now Butler. Passes it to Autobahn. Outside Lowry. Now Butler. Autobahn with a screen for Butler. A shot, no good. Lakers trail by eight. It's stolen by Lowry. Butler, no good. Time running out for the Lakers. It's Prince high post. And no good, trying to use the glass. That's one he knows he should have drank. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist by Mark. Martin's got three assists in the game. And so James will bring it up to the Los Angeles Lakers. Butler with the steal. Howard with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. 
driving inside. And let it with the slam. Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. That's a two from Butler. And the rejection by James. Down low. Wow, the athleticism of LeBron James. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Butler. Out of bio. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Ooh, a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Not when he can throw it down like that. Boom! Well, they go to the intentional foul. D'Angelo Russell. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Now Tough one to miss. Kyle Lowry. Two. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. And an intentional foul right there. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And so both free throws are good. It's an eight-point game. What I love about Jimmy Butler, there's a lot to like, but he brings it every night. His consistency and toughness and production plays with passion, leads his team well. Love that throwback mentality of his. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by eight. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. LeBron passes to Russell from downtown. Here's Davis, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. A.D. is the man. Fine time play by a fine time ball. A tough break for him there. But they have a tough time coming back from this deficit no matter who's on the floor. And you hate to have a player foul out, but their depth could be an asset here, helping them weather his absence. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by eight. 12 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Reeves can't hit. Outside Lowry. He dishes it to Martin. Back to Lowry. And so it's Miami winning this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. As we leave...